Welcome, Ollie on Lockdown, episode two. There may be some of you out there who remember these two videos I made, the weird newspaper snippets, uh, one and two. Well, in this episode two, which I'll, I will link underneath uh, in the description, there was the newspaper article about the George McCoy, who was a farmer, and they found skeletons in his well, etc., after his death. And uh, I was asking people at the time, did they know any more about this? And someone kindly contacted me on Facebook. Unfortunately, I've forgotten his name. It was quite a while ago. I haven't had the chance to update this yet. But he gave me a link to the full account, which I'm just about to read out to you. So this is an update on that article. I will just show you the video of that article from Weird Snippets. Not the whole video, just that article. And uh, we'll take it from there. Discovery today of a secret tunnel leading from the home of the late George McCoy to within three feet of the well where four human skeletons were unearthed within a week leads the authorities to believe they are about to expose a death trap surpassing the Gunnus murder farm in Indiana. McCoy had lived on the ranch from 1853 until two years ago when he died. He was a bachelor of peculiar habits. District Attorney Adair, in charge of the investigation, said today, the discovery confirms our belief that we have found traces of one of the most remarkable series of crimes ever known in the West. Finding the skeletons will probably explain the mysterious death of Sam Wilson, who disappeared in 1877 after quarreling with McCoy. He was last seen going to McCoy's house. McCoy was charged with the crime, but after searching the house, the authorities dropped the case. There's going to be no images with this. I'm not making it into a full uh, video presentation. I just want to update you. I know that a lot of people asked me if, they, if I knew anything more. And so this is the story. Are you ready? A message recently published in the American newspapers from Mariposa states that four skeletons discovered near a well with a secret tunnel leading to the home of George McCoy, a mysterious recluse who died two years ago set men digging in the belief that they might expose a cycle of concealed crimes resembling those unearthed with the discovery of the Gunnus murder farm in Indiana. McCoy, whose hidden mode of life had earned him an evil reputation, owned a ranch near Mariposa for more than 50 years. He lived alone, shunned acquaintances, and kept his history an enigma from the day he appeared as a sullen stranger from nowhere and bought the ranch from an old settler in 1853. Narrowly escaped lynching. John Wilson, whose ranch adjoined McCoy's, disappeared 30 years ago. McCoy, who had quarreled with Wilson, was accused of his murder and narrowly escaped being lynched. For days, ranchers from the surrounding countryside worked with pick and shovel around McCoy's farmhouse but the secret tunnel was not discovered and McCoy was permitted to resume his life of seclusion. The entrance to the tunnel in which the four skeletons were found was concealed by a granite slab plastered over with earth. The discovery was accidental. About a week ago, Patrick Stanton, an old homesteader of Mariposa, started an excavation near the well on the McCoy Ranch for the purpose of putting in new curbings. Stanton had been digging for four or five days when he came upon the skeleton of a man. Three more skeletons found. Remembering the excitement attending the disappearance of Wilson and the finger of suspicion pointed at McCoy, Stanton notified District Attorney Adair. Sheriff Proti and Coroner Johnson of Mariposa also were notified and helped Adair to direct a gang of laborers in the investigation. 
An extension of the excavation began by Stanton disclosed the remaining three skeletons and the tunnel which led to the cellar of McCoy's farmhouse. All of the skeletons, one of which was that of a woman, appeared to have been buried for at least 30 years. And with the exception of the disappearance of Rancher Wilson, information is dim about the identity of the other persons who may have been victims of the mysterious McCoy. Wilson met his death one night after he rode out of Mariposa and turned the head of his Cayuse in the direction of his ranch, which joined that of McCoy on the Raymond Road, seven miles out of the town. Had received big check. Wilson was never seen or heard of again. A few days prior to his disappearance, Wilson had shipped a bunch of cattle from Plainsburg, Mercer County, and had received a check for them the day he disappeared. Suspicion was focused on McCoy, who, it was known, quarreled with Wilson several days earlier, and friends of the missing man swooped down on the mysterious rancher and held him captive while they were making excavations. McCoy watched his assertive accusers work with pick and shovel about his ranch. They paused every few minutes to curse McCoy and charge him with the murder of Wilson. McCoy kept protesting that he knew nothing about Wilson, and the searchers were about to retire in despair from his ranch when a gesticulating Chinaman appeared. This Chinaman, who was a cook named Ah Wong, communicated to the ranchers with gestures and pidgin English that he had seen McCoy and Wilson talking together when he passed the latter's ranch on the night of his disappearance. Had Rope Around Neck a rope was then tied around McCoy's neck and he was taken to a clump of trees to be lynched. Wilson's friends were about to string him up when Sam Hogan, an authority among the ranchers, appeared and pleaded with him to spare his life. Would you hang a white man on the word of a Chinaman? harangued Hogan. The argument told with the ranchers and they set McCoy free and booted the protesting celestial from their sight. Several months later, the Oddfellows Lodge of Schnelling in which Wilson had membership, instituted another search for him. McCoy was again forced to stand mute while a corpse of men with pick and shovel dug up his ranch. Nothing was found to warrant the beginnings of criminal proceedings against McCoy, however, and the ranchers began to regard the disappearance of Wilson as an inexplicable mystery. Chinese accuser vanished. Shortly after the second searching party had finished its work, Ah Wong, the Chinaman, who had told about seeing McCoy and Wilson talking on the night the latter disappeared, dropped out of sight and was never seen again. Sam Hogan, who saved McCoy from being lynched, was present when the skeletons were dug up from the secret tunnel. McCoy was found dead in bed two years ago. No one was present during his last moments, and he died as mysteriously as he lived. The body was found in a sitting posture, and an expression of fear was written across the distorted face. The coroner, who was called to view the body, said it looked as if McCoy had died while he was in a paroxysm of fright. <laughs>